Howdy everyone, Jacob here. Today we're going over company number five on our dividend yield stock screener. And today's stock is Andero Midstream Corporation. All right, quick looks. $6.2 billion company, 9.4 enterprise value, quite a bit of debt here. Let's see, look at that debt. 2.9, 3.3. Pretty consistent, issuing a little bit of debt to pay for that cash flow or to pay for that dividend. So let's see, 350, 560, 200 over here. Gee, so they're paying out quite a bit more in dividends than really their free cash flow allows. In their earnings, geez, dude, look at that, 354, 326, 330. And they're paying out over 400 million. Yeah, it's a 6.98% dividend, but I just, I'm just not convinced this will hold. Let's see, dollar earnings, negative 80 cents. Oh, man. Yeah, here's, a, again, a company that I'm just not entirely confident that they'll be able to keep this dividend. So if you're looking for consistent free cash flow from dividends, uh, or if you're retired looking for stocks to buy, yeah, currently we're looking at a 6.98% yield. Looks great, but again, just not super confident that they can pay that dividend out forever without increasing this debt to wildly insane numbers. All right, so... Let's still keep it going. Let's make some assumptions. So revenue growth. Yeah, let's call it flat. Company that's flat. Don't need any growth. I don't see that there's any. This doesn't look like a moat company to me. It doesn't look like I have monopolies, oligopolies or anything. An oil gas industry. Um, I say oil gas industry. Obviously, I mean like a shell or a marathon a gas station could have a monopoly in a particular um, town or something, but I'm just, yeah, low returns on invested capital. I don't, I've never heard of this company. Again, if, if it gets closer to buy price or assumed buy price of 15% yield, we can go farther in depth, but I don't see a reason why it needs any sort of premium. Pretty huge margins here. I mean, gas has been, it's probably pretty reliable, pretty live, ugh, changes pretty intensely with the price of oil. Man, we're shooting in the dark here. 30, 20%, no share change. And then again, I I just don't think that this, this dividend is stable, so I'm going to have to cut it in two. And then... When I cut that in two, I get a $4.19 stock price to get a 15% yield on this company. And currently it's at 12.7. <sighs> yeah, so again, we got a good good dividend yield right now of 6.98%. But one, I don't see it holding. And two, it doesn't look like it's at a price that is really bouncing out at you to put in your portfolio or anything. So... Again, nothing I say is financial advice. Do your own research. And, uh, yeah, I hope uh, everyone has a good rest of their day. Thank you.